Our guide is the Quran, our religion is Islam. Five noble pillars upholding what is virtuous. To make the testimony is the base of the faith and the fast and the prayer, the pilgrimage in charity. دستورنا القرآن وديننا الإسلام أركانه الجليلة دعائم الفديلة ويا الشهادتان كعيدة الإيمان والصوم والصلاة وحج والزكاة our guide is the Quran, our religion is Islam. Five noble pillars upholding what is virtuous. To make the testimony is the base of the faith, and the fast and the prayer, the pilgrimage in charity. To make the testimony is the base of the faith and the fast and the prayer, the pilgrimage in charity. It is said, according to sound narrations, that the hands of Muhammad, upon whom be peace, were soft over the heads of children. The Prophet's hands worked in the struggle for peace, built places of prayer, held the sword of battle, and grasped the hands of enemies with honor and goodwill in treaties of peace. The Prophet's hands dug the earth to bury the dead, and dug the earth to protect the living. His palms, smooth as silk, rejected the bribe of sun and moon, remaining free and open to carry loads for neighbors, comfort his family, caress his wife, and jestfully covered the eyes of his companion in a moment of marketplace merriment. The Prophet's hands were real. The Prophet's example was true. The Prophet's hands are gone. The Prophet's example lives on. Holding to the wheel each mile closer to conclusion His knuckles and his strands of hair are slowly turning white as he studies all the lines, like highways on his hands, he recalls how straight the road once seemed as he is left wondering what's right. The paths all curve and bend, sometimes he thinks they'll never end. How much longer will he push on? How much more can he pretend? The prophet's hands. Silk and smooth and soft to touch Sometimes he needs those hands so much To feel them clasp his own Let him know he's not alone The Prophet's hands If they could take over the reins If they could take away the strains Guide him to the end With the patience of a friend Oh Allah, sometimes he needs the Prophet's hands Stepping out to work each day, come whatever weather Father of the house, he holds worry in his hands While she stays home left all alone Hands worn from too much ironing TV churns out but illusion Claims to know but hardly understands They greet but hardly meet upon an endless dead-end street While children break, break the stormy th silence of the palms raised in defeat The Prophet's hands Silk and smooth and soft to touch Sometimes they need those hands so much To feel them clasp their own Let them know they're not alone The Prophet's hands Can bind husband and wife Remind them why they share a life Clasp them both upon his heart Gently help them make a start To hold each other as they'd hold the Prophet's hand Standing in the market square So alive but void of life We work and we sweat And we struggle through each day As our efforts scar our hands This world stains us with demands 
It's hard to see life's humor in the business games we play. And as we gnaw our nails, we stress our fists and hearts pound so carelessly. With every effort forward, how much more can we digress? The prophet's hands, silk and smooth and soft to touch. Sometimes we need those hands so much to feel and clasp our own. Let us know we're not alone. The prophet's hands. As we toil in the square, come up behind the sun aware. Playful palms across our eyes, teasing to help us realize we need the jesting, joking, loving prophet's hands. The prophet's hands, silk and smooth and soft to touch. Sometimes we need those hands so much to feel and clasp our own. Let us know we're not alone. The prophet's hands. If they could take over the reins, if they could take away the strains, guide us to the end with the patience of a friend. Oh, Allah, sometimes we need the prophet's hands. Oh, Allah, sometimes we need the prophet's hands. Oh, Allah, sometimes we miss the prophet's hands. In the name of God, the most gracious the most merciful. Read, in the name of your Lord and cherisher who created, created mankind out of a clot of congealed blood. Read, and your Lord is most bountiful. He who taught the use of the pen taught man that which he did not know. No, but man does transgress all bounds in that he looks upon himself as self-sufficient. Verily, to your Lord is the return of all. She's read before She's consumed two thousand books or more Musty pulp and glue Soundproof her tiny room She cannot understand Why this book in her hand Fascinates her now so much She's almost shy to touch Don't think about the words It's just a book, paper and ink She reaffirms, reminds herself A book can't dictate what to think It invites intrigues or more than others on her shelf Is it just another book? She sits questioning herself Oh Allah, she's so afraid to read The wisdom that's revealed may burrow in her mind She'll be obliged to admit She'll be obliged to submit But will she be strong enough To live the truth she finds Allah, she's so afraid to read That he is gone He hears his mother toss in bed When he slips in at dawn In the bookcase by the stair He can see it sitting there Like a waiting watchful wise man Scolding him with care In the morning will they fight about him Being out all night Will he resent their gift of love And not admit that they are right All he wants is to fit in some place But must he compromise his faith He can't look himself or his parents in the face He takes the book upstairs unread Sets it closed next to his head Then counts the prayers he's missed And lays so hopelessly in bed Oh Allah, he's so afraid to read The wisdom that's revealed May burrow in his mind He'll be obliged to admit He'll be obliged to submit But will he be strong enough To live the truth he finds Allah, he's so afraid to read
I sent an email to my loved one just the other day. It's sad communication has evolved this way. We use so many words.